Hello everyone, so today I'm doing this purple smoky look and I'm using this little baked shadow from Sally's and it looks like that. Um, I hope you guys like it. Keep on watching if you guys want to know how I got this look. Okay, so I did one eye and this is the look and I'm using this baked shadow from Sally's and it looks like this and we're gonna use this for the lid and I'm just gonna take this little disposable brush and you could go ahead and apply your primer if you want I'm not gonna use a primer I just want to apply a lot of purple in the lid So I should have mentioned that I already did my eyebrows and my foundation so I just wanted to get started with the eye. And you could get these at any Sally's and they're very very cheap, they're only a buck and they have many other nice colors that I really like. So once you have this purple, it doesn't really have a, it doesn't have a, a name. It's just like that. So it's the darkest purple you find. That's that, this color. And then I'm going to take some black and put that on the crease. And I'm going to take um, this angle brush. And just go draw a line inside the crease and then bring it out so you have the black in the crease we're gonna smudge it out and you want to take I'm gonna use this pencil brush to smudge it out And just blend but going up. Try to even them out both sides. Okay, so once you have that, we're going to do the bottom lashes, and I'm going to take some of the purple. Where is the purple? Okay. And this, I'm going to put some on the lower inner corner. Just halfway. And I'm going to take a smudge brush. I'm using this tiny one. And I'm going to grab some of the black and do the outer part. And then you want to take a really thin brush. And I'm going to put some purple under the black all the way up okay so once we have the eyes like that you want to do your lower waterline and I'm going to use some gel liner for that and you want to take a thin brush or an angle brush whatever you like and just apply your okay so once you have that it's time for mascara 
and I'm using this one. This is the one that I've been using lately. Okay, so once you have your mascara on, I'm gonna do some concealer and I'm gonna apply this under my eyes. I'm gonna take hmm, this one. So just apply your concealer everywhere you think you need it. So I usually apply it here. On top of my eyebrows. Under my eyes. So once, now that I have all my concealer, I'm gonna powder my face. I really don't powder a lot on the daytime, but I'll do it right now. I'm gonna use this brush since I can't find my kabuki one and let's go I really don't like this brush because a lot of hair just falls off so powder's there and time for blush and I'm using this one and it's like a deep red like a pinkish red I don't know, I can't describe the color, but it's this color. Um, I'm taking a blush brush. And I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. And with this color, you just need just a tiny bit because it's very, very dark. And the last thing is the lips. And I'm going to do a nude lip with this because I don't want a big, dramatic too dark look so I'm gonna warm it up with nude lips and that's it I think it was pretty easy and all I used was your you could use your favorite highlight color for your brow bone, I used a white shimmery. I used black for the for the crease and these this little Sally's baked shadow in purple. So thank you for watching, and I hope you guys comment if you like it. And thanks for watching. Bye.